why I do what I do. Why paint? I think you have to have a, a willingness to uh, be open-minded, uh, to leave judgment at the door as far as, you know, what you've been taught in the past. I think if you come here and are willing to just take in what the instructor kind of gives you, um, it'll be the best experience. Well, I think that most students who attend workshops in general expect to encounter a teacher who is going to challenge them, but also uh, show them, I think, more or less a rather formulaic way of working. To me, this was not like other workshops. In fact, I've never encountered a workshop like this. In the anti-workshop, we're not focusing so much on technical information that one particular person can give, but actually the, the genesis of that technical information historically. Oh, Vincent, he was incredible. He just gave so much. It just was, um, he's just so deep, a very, very deep person who thinks deeply about art and its uh, application. Um, the people, uh, the hosts have been awesome. And uh, as well, of course, the lectures with Vincent were unbelievable, like very emotional even for me. So yeah, it was great. Es que me llevo muchas cosas. Lo más importante, el volver a reencontrarme con el arte, con la pintura y haber conocido a gente muy buena, muy buena, y que creo que seguiré en contacto, la verdad. Pero me costaría decir que solo ha sido eso. O sea, yo me voy de aquí con el deseo y con la idea de volver. It's so peaceful and quiet here. I got here on the first day, it was very early. And I came and walked the gardens, and um, I realized, wow, I can't hear any cars. <laughs> it was a really good idea to be able to spend so much time with the students, not only in the studio, but also at dinner and afterwards in time. I, I think that's a really good thing, because they have lots of questions. And, uh, and I should be here to answer their questions if I can. Y por supuesto voy a volver aquí, ¿eh? <risa> no os libráis de mí. <risa>